Yo, what's going on guys? So I am so excited to finally be able to tell you guys all about Skill Corvus getting a buff. They're buffing Skill Corvus. They are giving a buff to Mole God. And oh my God, it's gonna make him even way, way better, dude. It is insane. So we also got Terax and Mole God both getting buffs. Uh, two, probably like the most underwhelming month of last year, champion wise, with uh, with Terax man being a, a herald and just. Ugh. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to jump into it. We we got all the changes. It's a little bit different formatting today. Uh, Kabam kind of just, like, gave us a text of, like, the changes. They didn't give us, like, a big sheet or anything or no beautiful-looking artwork. So I made these myself. Uh, you can probably tell, like, it's got, like, my typical font that I use. It's, uh, it's I tried to make it look pretty. But, yeah, so we're going to talk about Terax first because we got to save the best for last. we got to save Skill Corvus for last. We'll talk about him. He's epic. Uh, but yeah, let's start with Terax. So Terax is getting a tune-up. I think I think both of them are classed as tune-ups. So it's not like any major ability uh, abilities being changed and like uh, taken out and added in. It's like uh, their values are being tuned up or tuned down uh, for the most part, essentially. So like their play style is, is still going to stay the same. Uh, maybe change a little bit based on some of the, the tuning. But so for Terax, his armor break potency goes from 4% to 22%. So he's going to, the armor breaks that he applies, they're gonna be more potent. So you're gonna be hitting harder with those armor breaks. The armor break duration increases from eight seconds to 15 seconds. This, it almost doubles the duration of those armor breaks, which now, so they last longer, they have more potency, and the armor break chance increases from 20% to 35% and this chance I believe it triggers every 0.5 seconds so you're just going to be getting a lot more arm breaks they're going to be lasting a lot longer and they're going to be more potent triple threat right there so this is going to really help with Terry's damage output which is awesome because this dude doesn't hit super hard um, he also gets heavy uh, during Rockfield bonus the damage is increased from 120% fury to a 200% uh, Fury, so so that's cool. Uh, I was talking to John, the uh, Kabam John, the balance designer. Um, he, er, <laughs> he he worries about the balance of the game, and he was in charge for testing these characters. And he, he was telling me that uh, what, what, at the end of a rock field, you can get off a really big heavy attack because it's guaranteed to crit. Uh, you can have a whole bunch of armor breaks, and it could hit pretty hard. So that's the first part of Terax's changes. So to his armor breaks, his damage output is going to be increased by quite a bit. Sounds very good. And there's some more as well. So the special three armor break is increased from 30% to 50%, and the heavy power drain is only 50% of a bar of power. So how Terax works is when you're in your rock field, you can use a heavy attack to basically get out of rock field. It's guaranteed crit. Uh, it's going to do some nice damage, but as it is right now, it drains one bar of power. Uh, but after this change, it will only drain 50% of a bar of power, which is nice. And then the heavy can also crit if it breaks block before it wasn't working that way. Uh, but yeah, and if you are in the rock field, uh, it is a guaranteed crit. So you can get this one crit to hit pretty hard. So yeah, that's that's all of Terax's changes. It's not like that much to his abilities. He's still gonna play very similarly. I think it's just gonna be a lot better. Like Terax has some serious potential, man. Uh, he's got bleed and shock immunity and like power drain immunities against like metal champs. That, that's some niche utility. It's just, he just, he just sucks. So I think there's some real potential with him hitting pretty hard after this change. I'm very interested to see the numbers. You guys know as soon as I'm able to, I will upload some gameplay with buff Terax. And I'd like to do like a before and after showing um, before the buff, what his damage up was looking like, and then after the buff just to see how big of an increase uh, it would be. So that's Terry, Terrence, Terax, the boy, a uh, herald of Galactus, probably one of the worst, him and A-Rock are definitely the worst. So I, I think this will bring him up to maybe past Silver Surfer's level, but not, I don't think it'll touch Cosmic Ghost Rider's level, but I think it's gonna be a really good change. So now, without any further ado, Let's get to the man. The reason you guys clicked on this video, Skill Corvus. Let's talk about it, man. So some very, very big changes coming to Skill Corvus. The, the first one is probably one of the biggest changes. Um, and it's actually gonna make you play them a little bit differently as well. So heavy monster mass charges. Currently, when you use a heavy attack to build up your monster mass, you get one. It's being increased to four. It's being quadrupled, dude. And you might be like, yeah, that's cool. 
you're going to you're going to build monster mass faster. Is that really that big of a deal? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. It is such a big deal, dude. Because once you get into frenzy, this this still works for monster mass. When you're in frenzy and you use a heavy attack, you gain one one more monster mass. But your monster mass is falling off so fast that it. It, it, it doesn't really do anything, you know, it's using that heavy wastes so much time that's not really worth it. But now, using that heavy will give you four. So you'll be able to just stay in Frenzy. Once you get into Frenzy, you'll be able to stay in Frenzy and just infinitely crit. Similar to like Captain Marvel, once you get into Binary, you just spam those heavies and you, you keep your charges up and you retain that damage. So this is just such a huge change, man. That that and there's there's more. There's more changes too, but that one's huge. Actually, here we got bleed on crit, going from 0 0.35 to 0 0.5 seconds. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but the the bleed duration is being decreased by a bit. Something with the bleed is being increased, and the, the time is being decreased by a little bit. A little bit confused on the 0 0.35 to 0 0.5, but this next change is also huge. The frenzy duration is being doubled two times longer in Frenzy. And again, you're gonna be able to stay in Frenzy so much easier with those heavy attacks. So you're just gonna be like permanently critic once once you get into Frenzy. And that's not all, there's more changes as well. Uh, increase the total monster mass to 20, which right now it's 15. So now you'll be able to get to a maximum of 20 monster mass and again, you just keep heavying, you get four, you can just stay in frenzy mode, which is crazy. Another another good change here is the true accuracy. Right now, it's when you're under five monster mass, you have the true accuracy. His true accuracy is awesome. Uh, I wish he could keep it longer. And now he is being able to keep it until he's at 10 monster mass. I'd like if it was just until he was like in frenzy. Um, you know, like you're fighting Spider-Man or something. I, I'd love if you could just keep his true accuracy forever, of course, but this is still a, a, a better than what it is now, so I will take it. Um, and then the special two Fury no longer is based on percent of HP. It's now just a flat increase. Uh, so your special two will just hit harder. Because right now how Mole Man kind of works is with his signature ability, it's he gains more uh, critical and critical damage based on like missing health, and that's kind of annoying. And his special two was like that before as well, but now special two is not. I wish they could change the sig ability as well, but John was saying that you know that's not really tune up. Uh, it would be like it would, it would have to be a higher tier of buff. They'd have to like just completely rework the signature ability, and that's not what they're aiming to do with uh, Mole Man and Terax here. They're just tune ups, but I do think that these tune ups are going to make them just so much better i i'm so excited to play both of them uh it, honestly uh, i'm really excited to play both of them but of course skill corvus uh i'm most excited to play because <laughs> i love this whole skill corvus meme dude it's, it's great um and i think he's really gonna live up to being skill corvus now because you're just gonna be able to crit uh once you once you get into friends you're gonna just, you're gonna stay there and you're just gonna crit for the rest of the fight um and you're also gonna be applying bleeds on those crits. So you're gonna be bleeding a ton. It's gonna be crazy. It just I just wish you could keep that true accuracy up a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, guys, so those are the changes to Mole God, AKA Skill Corvus, AKA Mole Man, um, and to Terax, AKA Terrence, AKA Terry, uh, AKA the Lemon of Galactus. So hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown of these rework abilities. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you liked the, the format, if you liked the the, the slides that I've made. I, I'm interested to hear if you guys liked them. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it. I will be doing a similar videos to this for Yellow Jacket and Kingpin once I am allowed to talk about those buffs. Again, it'll be very soon. Keep an eye on the channel for that. And again, as soon as the next update comes out for February, uh, and I'm allowed to upload gameplay for all these new buffed up characters. I'll get to work on the CCP beta and show you guys gameplay pre-buff, post-buff, really compare the numbers, see how much better they are. So yeah, if you guys wanna see that, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video. It really does help me out. It really does help me out and shows me that you guys enjoy these videos and just gives me more excitement to keep making them and working on them. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, let me know which one you are more excited for, Terax or Mole Man. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.